Hi, I'm going to do a video for you in Photoshop for Windows um, using the F570 printer, sublimation printer. So what we're first going to do is go to File, New, and I'm just going to keep it at 8.5 by 11 portrait. Uh, the resolution is going to be 300. Your color mode is going to be RGB color, 8-bit. Uh, the background, I use transparent all the time. You, ha however, can use whatever color you want. Now for the color profile, we are going to use the sRGB IEC 61966-21. That's for creating, not for printing. We'll get to that in a minute. So now I'm going to create, I hit create, and there is my screen, and I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm going to find this calibration picture, and there it is, and you see the colors are really, really nice on my screen. I do not use any kind of software for my screen, I just use either Photoshop or Affinity Designer. The difference is Photoshop is monthly, Affinity Designer is a flat fee of, right now it's on sale for $29 for life. All right, so here I am. Now I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Print. And here is my printer. And the first thing I want to do is go to my Print Settings. This is for the printer the F570. Naturally, here is your settings for whatever size you're going to print. I have the roll paper, which I use for everything, and your media type. These are the Epson profiles. It'll either be textile or rigid. I never use rigid after seeing what it does to my colors, even if it's for a mug or a tumbler. I do textile for everything. All right, next is your print quality. If you're going to use a program such as Photoshop, you want to make sure that it is off with no color adjustment. I always use maximum quality and finest detail. There are other ones you can use. Quality, it'll use less ink. I don't know why I like a lot of ink, but that's just me. Never keep it on high speed. So you can do quality and finest detail. I do maximum and finest detail. Next, we're going to go to advanced. So if you're going to use the roll, you want normal cut, auto-rotate, and save your paper roll. That's what you want to do. Okay, that's your printer property settings. That's what you should have it as. Again, make sure you have off, no color adjustment. Keep it off high speed, and you can change these as you wish. Now we're going to hit OK. So we've done with the printer. Now we're in color management. The color handling, you always want to make sure it says Photoshop, not your printer. Photoshop manages color. Your printer profile, the two Epson profiles that I told you about, of course I have a hundred of them. Um, again, you're going to keep it at textile. It must match what your printer says. So in Affinity it has to say this, and your printer has to say that. Normal printing. Rendering Intent. I use Relative Color Metric. You can use Perceptual, Saturation, but for a picture in true color, I have always had great luck with this one. Keep it on Black Point Compensation, and you are ready to print. I've already printed it, and I'm going to post a picture of this with the uh, print and the press. So that should just be just a quick dialogue of how to use 
Photoshop with your F570 for Windows. And thanks for watching.